All right, standing next to uh, rising star Brett Beckwith, and uh, are you making your plans for Florida yet? Oh, I don't know. You know, I've got to leave that up to the Oshawa voters. I, I'm going to put you at about three to five this year. So um, steal my thunder. Let's talk here a little bit. It looked like you were tucking along the pylons there in the first turn, and Slendorn kept coming, and you slid out right behind him. And I thought, you know, this was going to wind up being one of these interviews because I told you I wanted to talk to you after the race, regardless, win or lose, that uh, we'd be talking about losing. But this horse just went a, a, a amazing trip at four to one. Yeah, she did. She went a she went a huge effort. I mean, it's really windy out there, and I mean, when you hit the top of the stretch, that headwind's brutal. But I was gonna tuck in in the first turn, but it looked like there was gonna be too much up to chance and too much that could go wrong. So I took a chance following Slendorn's helmet, and then it worked out. So the thought process there more so um, just. Is it strategy that following Slendorn there and coming out, or is it just one of those things where, where it just worked out for the best? Well, you know, sometimes you're, you want to be the last one to the front a lot of the times, and especially with the headwind tonight, I don't, I don't see a lot of horses really wanting to dig down the stretch and pass other horses, so you got to try to Got to try to make do with what you got, but it seemed like the best trip of the time, so I took a chance. All right, well, you've had a heck of a year so far this year, leading driver up at Saratoga, so congratulations there. Uh, you want to say hi, Mom and Dad, back home? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was blessed with two great parents, my mom and my dad, and they're the reason I'm here where I am today. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, Brett Beckwith.